guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today we are going to talk about perfume Zara with collaboration with Barbie. I don't know if I can say that, but yes, Zara Barbie perfume, maybe let's put it this way. Uh, I managed to snatch my bottle. It is very, very limited and very hard to get, but I managed to get it online. It sold out like in 15 minutes and now I can give you my review of this perfume. So if you are interested how it smells, please stay with me. My name is Justina. This is my perfume world. If you like it here, please consider subscribing to this channel, leave a comment, leave a like, and okay, let's go into the Barbie world, which is very pink, which is sugary, which is, which is sweet, and beautiful, I would say. No, it is not completely my aesthetics, but it gives me some kind of nostalgia, so I, you know, I had to get a bottle of perfume. And here is actually the box. It has glitter, glitter on it, it has this classic Barbie uh, you know, signature here. So I think it's cute. I think it's nice. And as a kid, I was obsessed with Barbie. I had only one, but I was very obsessed with it. And I loved everything Barbie related. So how cool is that? That now we have Barbie perfume. I know there is a Barbie hype for everything everywhere now because the movie just, you know, uh, is available to see uh, in the cinema. I didn't see it yet, but I'm planning to do so. So, of course, there is a hype and Zara is very clever because they are using this hype so much. They have released the clothing collection with Barbie. They have released fragrance. They had released a shimmering body oil, but I didn't see it anywhere. Uh, so they are only dropping like few bottles online. I, I think so. And they just sold out and, you know, they don't put anything else. But if you get the chance to uh, get your bottle of Barbie, I highly recommend you do so because this fragrance is surprisingly good, at least for me. Uh, if you like pink scents, I think this perfume Barbie Zara will be for you. So yeah, that, that is the box. It is glittery. It is girly. However, putting all that aside, I do not think this fragrance has any age. So that's uh, just to get it straight don't get you know this impression if this like girly perfume you cannot wear it if you are like i don't know 50 40 that's uh, a bs basically because you can wear what you want and this one here is not that childish as you think so here is the bottle maybe yeah let's uh let's put it here and here is the bottle this is like usual cylindrical bottle that zara usually has I have Red Temptation in this bottle as well. It is heavy, it is thick glass. I like those bottles actually. This is actually now the signature Zara bottle. So I think it's very nice that I, that they are keeping it with this aesthetic. So uh, I like it. And it's pink, of course, it's Barbie. So duh, it had to be like that. So here also we have um, the signature of Barbie and this the cap is silver. I was thinking maybe it, it would be good if it would be like gold or something like that, but th that's just me. I'm the golden girl. I love gold. Uh, I do not quite like silver. However, here I think it balances out this uh, pinkiness of, of, this, of everything. So I think it's a good idea. So this is the presentation. And what are the notes? Maybe uh, let's, uh, I will tell you what are the notes. Uh, we have neroli, orange, we have orange flower, rose and vanilla and tonka bean. If you know, or maybe you don't know. However, I do like tonka beans in perfume. I think tonka bean always makes those sweet fragrances shimmer. They are not that flat. They are multidimensional. And here is what I kind of get. That this one is sweet. So first of all, you need to like your sweet perfume, your pink perfume. And many people compared this one to uh, Oriana from Parfums de Marly or Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. So for me, it is not like straight up dupe of Killian. I love don't be shy maybe neroli here slightly pulls uh, the same way as in killian love don't be shy however for me it is not at all a dupe uh, for me um love don't be shy is more sharp more narrowly or orange blossom forwarded 
um, combined of course with uh, marshmallows. However, this one is more fluffy, more sweet even, I would say. Uh, if it's um, Is it similar to Oriana from Parfums de Mali? For me, not so much. Uh, at first, when you first spray Barbie and you first spray Oriana, maybe they have some uh, elements in common as Neroli or Vanilla, for example. But Oriana for me is more um, light. Uh, it has more dimension to the fragrance, um, is um, also fresher in some kind of way. Of course, it has marshmallows, it is sweet, but it's somehow fresher. And then it has this musky undertone for me uh, that gives it this cleanliness. Here we do not have it, but it doesn't mean that this fragrance is not pleasant. Oh, and I also heard that this scent is also compared slightly to Princess from Killian. When it comes to the fluffiness and some kind of creaminess of this fragrance, I can agree. However, this is a completely different scent. I would say it's completely different. It is not a dupe for Killian Love Don't Be Shy or Rihanna or Princess at all. Princess is like this matcha tea with marshmallows. If you like those fluffy elements in your fragrances, you're gonna like it. Uh, but in general, this has its own DNA. So, um, to sum up, it is powdery, uh, it has this narrowly touch in it, which is slightly bitter, just slightly, but it's very pleasant, I must, uh, I must admit, but first you need to like your scent sweet, uh, but if you like Oriana or Killian Love Don't Be Shy, I think you are immune to this kind of sweetness and you will like Barbie as well. And I must admit it was very pleasant, um, you know, feeling and experience to wear this fragrance throughout the day today. I received it yesterday afternoon actually and the moment I opened the box I needed to spray myself, of course, and I couldn't, you know, get past this awesomeness of this fragrance. I really like it. I have it on my hand here. I was spraying today and topping up during the day. However, there is no need because it's this one is quite long lasting. I need to tell you. Um, I get a full eight hour wear uh, of this perfume and it lasted the night test. You know, when I have a new perfume, I often like to do a night test. So after my evening shower, I spray myself not a lot with um, a new fragrance, just two or three sprays max. Sometimes it's even one just to see how long it lasts and if I will be, you know, able to smell it after I wake up. And this one I was able to smell clearly after I woke up and it was like three sprays, not big sprays, you know, done after the evening shower and still after the shower that was like three hours before I went to sleep. So um, it lasted really long time and I could feel it on me very uh, prominently. So I think it's very, very good. And this is, this is fluffy. I sprayed it here before. The sprayer is like a typical Zara sprayer, you know. So if you have a perfume from this collection before, you will know how it sprays. Oh, uh, this is sweet. This is fluffy. It has vanilla. It has this marshmallowy uh, fluffiness and coziness to it. They don't list marshmallows. Uh, here on the list, but I think they are there or maybe it's vanilla and tonka that um, You know create this effect. Oh, however, it's so pleasant and today I was sitting at work and I was thinking what smells so good and it was me so you know Barbie surprised me really really, you know really well. She surprised me. I didn't think I would like this perfume so much. I was expecting something like body mist type, nothing interesting. However, I must admit I like this DNA. I late, I'm lately slightly obsessed with pink DNA of perfumes. I never thought I will because I usually associated those fluffy, slightly fruity perfumes with, um, I don't know, something not that good smelling. However, now it is totally working on me. So, yeah, I think Barbie uh, Zara is highly, highly recommended by me. If you get the chance, get your bottle. Unfortunately, I know, I think it will be a limited edition. It is very hard to get right now. Uh, so uh, buy it in Zara when it has like the normal price, because I think on eBay or somewhere else, people may uh, sell it much, much, um, 
you know, they can charge you a lot more than in the shop. However, all in all, I think it's very much uh, worth testing and wearing and enjoying. As I said, if you like your sweet gourmand fragrances, but with a slight twist, not flat, um, expensive smelling, I think this one will be for you. It is not like work of art, but it's fun. It is nice. It is sweet. It is slightly fruity as well. I think there is uh, also a, some kind of a raspberry or berry in here. However, they do not list it here. So I think it's a really nice release from Zara and I was very excited to uh, test it and I'm really excited to wear it. It gives me joy and that's what we want from perfumes, right? So if you like it, just wear it. As I said, it doesn't have any age. If you like it, just wear it. So Zara Barbie, I highly, highly recommend you get it. So let me know uh, if you managed to snatch your bottle of Barbie. I'm very happy I did. Uh, let me know how it wears. Um, how, what are your, um, you know, opinion? What is your opinion regarding this fragrance? Thank you very much for watching today and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.